Uh, the question that was raised is, what does Judaism say about the significance of what Christianity uh, terms the original sin, namely the sin of Adam and Eve, eating from the fruit of the tree of knowledge in contravention of God's divine commands? Well, let me say at the outset that, number one, although the Christian idea is very, very different than the Jewish idea, it is totally based on a, a concept that is at least analogous in Judaism. And we, in fact, do believe that the original sin had a cosmic repercussion. It was an extremely significant event. Adam uh, and Eve were created as perfect beings who were totally connected to God. And the sin created an unbridgeable distance, a chasm, a separation. Uh, so far, we and the Christians are walking on the same path. But at this point, we now differ and we now switch directions. Christianity sees original sin as an irrevocable, unchangeable blight on the holiness of the human soul, creating an impossibility of connecting to God other than faith in Jesus, etc. Judaism teaches it in a very, very different way. We believe that the essence of man's divine soul remains untainted, it remains holy, it remains unified with God, it remains radiant. What the sin introduced was kind of a secondary soul that the Tanya and the books of Kabbalah refer to as the animal soul, in which our holy soul strives to be with God, but we introduced into ourselves negative drives of egotism, selfishness, hedonism, that are kind of pulling us away, imprisoning us, making it very, very difficult to achieve the communion that the holy, godly soul still desires to achieve. So as a result, instead of looking at man as hopelessly irredeemable, Judaism has a very, very hopeful vision because it basically says, listen, the holiness that you were born with, the holiness that was put into Adam is still there. There is a drive that can be pulling you away, but you have the freedom, you have the capacity to liberate yourself from that drive and achieve holiness and perfection and communion with God. So as a result, Judaism on one hand does remind us that we have many, many negative forces within us that we have to fight. Judaism is realistic. We don't assume that we are already in a state of perfection. On the other hand, Judaism teaches us that if God gave us the challenge, God also gave us the wherewithal to be able to surmount that challenge. So I think the fundamental difference is that Christianity views original sin as a taint on the spiritual essence of man. We regard original sin as creating a tension, an opposition, and a force that we have to overcome. But the power of the godly soul can still overcome it. And I think that is why Judaism overall is a much more optimistic vision, but at the same time a realistic one, saying there's a lot of work, but you can achieve it. If you like that video, hit the subscribe button.